Hi everyone. We'll start with uploading our selfie pic to the website remove.bg to remove the background from our photo. This app does a great job of removing the background and it does it so fast. We can then download the edited photo. Super easy. But I want to edit this photo some more. The edit tool lets you add a variety of backgrounds to your picture. However, the tool I'm interested in is the erase tool. After clicking the erase tool, I can adjust the size of the brush I will use to remove parts from my picture. Zoom in close to erase around these edges. Now that I have just my face with no background, I am ready to download the picture for my scratch project. I will start by adding a new sprite to my project. Scratch provides a lot of cool characters and items for sprites. I'm going to select this person here because I like their shirt. And then I will get rid of the cat sprite for now. Peace out, kitty. Code can be assigned to a single sprite, and so can costumes. The sprite's costumes have different poses and expressions, which can be used to animate the sprite with code. But first, I'm going to upload my own costume to add to this sprite. And there is my beautifully edited selfie. I like to click the Convert to Vector because it makes it easier to edit the photo. After that, I'll select this big old head to copy and paste in one of my many costumes. I'll click Paste and move this face out of the way. The Scratch Photo Editor has some wonderful tools like the Flip Photo Tool, which flips the photo from side to side or upside down and up. That's a really good angle for me, so I'm going to shrink that face to better fit the sprite character. Just like we removed the background from my selfie, we can use the scratch editor to erase parts of the sprite costumes. I'll adjust the brush size and erase just the head of the sprite. After a little more adjusting, I can connect my face to the sprite. Something else to think about when photo editing is layers. Here you can see how my face is in the back layer because it sits behind the sprite. All I have to do is click on front to move my face to the front layer. Next, I need to move just the arm of the sprite to the front layer so it looks like my finger is touching the front of my face. So now we can begin to plan some animation by moving from one costume to another. All right, I'm getting funky with it there. Next, we will leave the sprite and costumes and select a background for our project in the stage area on the bottom right of the screen. Scratch provides a bunch of awesome background scenes and places. There I am in a hayfield. Cool but I want to upload my own backdrop using pictures that I took. This library makes a good backdrop for my project. So I'll head over to the Scratch Photo Editor to adjust the backdrop. Just like the sprite costumes, we can add multiple backdrops to our projects. I will stretch the photo out to fit the background scene that I want. Then I can select my sprite once again and move it to fit the background. This concludes the tutorial. You are now a master photo editor, and I hope you have a lot of fun creating and coding. Click the link in the description below to view the Scratch project example.